In this video, I am talking about this cute little Lumix Panasonic G100, new camera for vloggers and content creators. Yes, new vlogging camera from Panasonic. Just after the Sony ZV-1 announcement, Panasonic has released this. And before we even talk about the specs and what it can do, it has exchangeable lens system. Just saying, Sony. Before we talk about the details, I must say massive thanks to UK Digital for fixing me with this camera for this review and also for giving me or giving you this code PAVG100 to claim your absolutely free 64 gigabyte SanDisk Extreme Pro SDXC card with the purchase of the camera and the link is below this video. I'm not being paid by anyone to say anything specific, so this is my personal and honest opinion about this little camera. Okay, let's do this. In this video I am going to talk about this camera's build quality, functionality, photography and of course video performance, value for money and who it is for. I have a vlogging kit here, which is a G100V which comes with this little 12 to 32 millimeter lens as well as a little tripod, tabletop tripod to grip uh, controller. I love how cute this camera is. It certainly has got a feel of more expensive pro cameras, but in a smaller package. This camera is certainly small and it would fit, I guess, easily. I think it would fit in a bigger pocket. Micro four thirds lens mount gives you that flexibility to expand and upgrade your kit when you need it. There's a great selection of lenses from Panasonic and Olympus out there that can be used on this camera. The autofocusing works okay. It's not award-winning autofocusing by any means, but it does a decent job, does okay job while filming. But while using this kit lens, which comes with this camera in this vlogging, uh, vlogging kit, it has got tiny issue with face recognition. It seems to be like it's tracking face perfectly fine as long as I'm looking with both eyes at the lens. But once, as soon as I start turning away and looking down, it loses um, focusing on the face and starts focusing on the background. It's not a huge issue as such, and it might be fixed with the future updates, and it might not be an issue at all with different lenses than this. There is, of course, an articulated screen which can be rotated for those low and, and high situations and of course for you to see yourself when taking selfies or filming yourself. This camera can do vertical video for your Instagram, Facebook stories and TikTok videos. With the screen being on the side, well on top when you're filming vertical video, it's actually easier to handheld it. One very frustrating and confusing thing is the manual focusing with this uh, kit. Kit 12 to 32 millimeter lens. The lens has got only one ring, the zoom ring. So when you switch the manual focusing in the camera, you have to go through very fiddly, in my opinion, procedure to actually operate the manual focus with the buttons on the back of the camera. I had to look this up in a book of secrets, <laughs> which I don't usually look into. But yeah, the manual focusing is possible, but a little bit fiddly. This little camera is Featured pack and Panasonic have really thought of the needs of all kind of content creators and filmmakers when putting this together. As not all YouTubers and vloggers are actually filmmakers, this camera certainly makes it easier to get you filming and creating content straight out of the box. Fully automatic and fairly easy to use if it is your first ever camera, but also it packs a punch if you are an experienced photographer and done a video or two before. 20.3 million pixels, five axis hybrid image stabilization, lightweight, time-lapse, slow motion, 4K video, and so much more. First great feature is the built-in microphone. Normally you wouldn't expect much from the built-in mic, but here Panasonic have teamed up with Nokia to create something a little bit different. Not only the sound is actually decent and absolutely usable, but there are a few clever sound settings to utilize as well. 
The camera's built-in face recognition and the face tracking while filming works together with the microphone to follow the face. Well, follows the voice coming from the face. This works great if you move a lot in front of the camera and from one side of the frame to, to the other. It also records the sound from around the camera with the different settings and directly from the back if you want to film something in front of you and narrates during filming from behind the camera like I'm doing now. There is an external microphone socket if you want to use external microphones, but no headphone socket. And this is the audio recorded with an internal built-in microphone. And this is the sound recorded with external microphone, the Rode VideoMic Pro. Although sadly it doesn't do 4K 60 frames per second, but it does 4K 30 frames per second with slight crop, full HD in 60, 50, 30, 25 and 24 frames per second. It can also record slow motion to up to 120 frames per second, but without the sound. That's the gimmicky one through the special setting. There is few ways to stylize your photos and video with built-in camera scenes and presets, but the biggest news for those serious about color grading the footage in post, this camera can record V-Log L flat profile, which gives you 12 stops of dynamic range to work with and be fully in control of how your video looks. Editing log profile footage needs the right software to color grade though, software like DaVinci Resolve, Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro. Like pretty much all the mirrorless cameras these days, you can control the G100 with the phone app. But I have no means of checking, testing if you can actually stream with it. Panasonic have released software to make it possible to use few of their cameras as webcams recently, but the software is PC only and I'm using Macs. As there is a huge demand for this kind of functionality and Panasonic is actually developing software solution for this, I think it's just a matter of time before you can use this camera as a webcam if you already can't. Let's face it, this is a video camera with ability to take photos. When taking photos, it is an upgrade from your phone for sure. Phone cameras in the smartphones are just that. They are smart and they can deliver magic instantly when you tap that button. With cameras like this, the magic, the magic part is not so magic and although the fully automatic works great and you can apply filters to the photos and videos as you take them this has got all the controls of the bigger cameras and it allows you to be in charge of how the photos are being taken and how they look that plus the fact that you can change lenses for different shooting scenarios is what you can't do with phone cameras you can also shoot raw pictures to give you more dynamic range if you are processing the photos in Lightroom, Photoshop or any other photo editing software. The camera is designed for vloggers and video content creators uh, and the 5-axis in build stabilization definitely helps to minimize the jitter and handshake. There is no tally light like in Sony, but the screen displays red frame around when you are recording, so you don't waste time talking to the camera and not recording. Yes, it happened to me a lot of times when I thought I pressed the button, but I didn't. Maybe not a camera to use as a main camera if you are running a professional video production company, but for sure good enough for everyday vlogging, YouTubing and creating content for social media easily. G100 retails here in UK for 587, 587 pounds for body only, 679 for the camera and this tiny 12 to 32 millimeter lens and 719 for the camera lens and the tripod grip vlogging kit like, like this. This is a great camera for anyone who wants a simple, lightweight and easy to use solution for video and photography content creation. But as it packs so much advanced features and full manual override of all of the settings, it's also great as a main travel or on the move camera for even those more experienced in photography and 
video. The Vlog L Flat Video Profile makes it great option for use as a second or third camera in the more elaborate setups if you are already filming with GH5, GH5S or even the big boys S1 and S1H. Definitely perfect tool for creating YouTube videos with and social media content straight out of the box. It is perfect for those who want to upgrade to the next step or two up from using the phone to shoot videos and photos with. I personally really like it and as it is pretty well thought through package which can deliver a lot equally great results for an absolute beginner and a professional shooter like me. Thanks again to UK Digital for fixing me with this camera for this review. And if you are thinking of buying it, please make sure to use the link below and the code PAVG100 to claim your absolutely free 64 gigabyte SanDisk Extreme Pro SDXC card with the purchase of the camera. And this is it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me the thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content, cameras, lenses, photography video reviews tutorials then please consider subscribing thanks for watching and i'll see you next time this is an example that you can actually film with the lumix panasonic lumix uh, g100 in the normal lighting studio kind of setup i do have uh, two color lights behind me one big softbox on this side this is what i usually use filming with uh, sony cameras or my nikon z6 but this is filming and recording the sound with the g100 this is sound recorded with an internal microphone inside a camera with the camera being about a meter away from me now